Look what I just found. Brand new kitties. Aren't they cute? Looks like three orange ones and a tiger. Very cool. I like kitties almost as much as I like snakes. So this is very nice. Now this is a very pissy customer. This uh, Rogosis, he's a proven biter. He is just foul. Oh boy, he hasn't been this foul in a long time. I think he, he's pissed off because he got uh, put on the lower level and lost his high-rise apartment where he had a view. Um, but this guy is freaking evil. I see you breathing. You're not talking again, huh? There you go. Sniffs seemed to be in a bit of a foul mood a little earlier um, when I came in. See, he doesn't like to be seen moving. Uh, it's okay for him to be sitting with his head bobbing, but the rest of the body has to be still. And I caught him moving from one side of the cage to the other, and I really have to uh, get him into bigger quarters. Um, but uh, he really doesn't like that. So uh, he was a little pissy with me. Well, it's time to feed Spike. Spike is always a fun snake to feed because you never know what she's going to do. But she does like her chicks. Oh, there we go, Spike. Good job. Oop. Here's Tex. I've named. No, that's not Tex. That's not Tex. Um, I haven't named her yet. Here comes Tex in the back. Tex has got the longhorns like a like a Texas A&M longhorn, and they're front pointing. So let's see if they like quail. They've been eating very nicely on rat and mice. But I just got in a shipment from Rodent Pro, who's my primary supplier. And uh, so the chicks are on the house. Got lots of chicks. Yeah, sorry, I bumped the, the uh, stack of uh, things that the camera is on. A little different, huh, guy? This guy's a Tex is a real, real hog. He eats almost everything. Apparently not chicks though. It's the, it's the first Texan. Oh, we're snappy, huh? We're snappy. Leave that back there for her. Spike, you're going at it from the wrong end. What'd you say, Sniffs? You want a chick? Well, I don't know. I think you've had your quota already this uh, month. Alright, well let's let Spike and the other characters uh, do their thing. Now there's your classic uh, puff adder pose. Miss Channing has really got her knickers in a knot for some reason. And Miss Channing actually ate two chicks today. Oh. Decided I'm not a threat? Just don't bite your cage mate there. And settle down. But that was classic puff adder. 
I'm gonna kill you pose. Woohoo! Haven't seen Carol do that in a long, long time. It's important always to know where your friend is. And this particular friend happens to be Oophis Okanavensis, or the Rukio Island Pit Viper. It's one of those uh, small uh, islands in the chain of islands uh, near Okinawa, which is famous for its uh, the snake called the Habu, um, which is actually uh, Protobothrops Okinavensis. Well, this is Oophis. Okinavensis. Um, different beasts, uh, different genus from the same island. Uh, this is one of the few egg-laying pit vipers that are out there. And we're going to see if uh, uh, he's interested in some food. Well, I know Mr. Mob is interested in food because he's over there looking at me. And if you hear a thump in the background, it's uh, that lo very large uh, Egyptian cobra sort of uh, uh, hanging out, uh, trying to strike at me through the cage. Yeah, here's something to eat. You want something, huh? Biting me instead, huh? No? So that little head shake? That definitely means, no, I am not interested. At any rate, maybe he's interested in a nice drink. I don't see him drinking either. Here, let's, uh, all right, folks, I'm working sort of backwards here. Let's, uh, let's take Mr. O Ophis up here and uh, let's give you a good look. Um, there he is. Well, actually, excuse the... Uh, Use the bumps and circuits here. Oophis Okanavensis cam. He's got this really gorgeous uh, uh, pattern on his body, uh, very much like a uh, eyelash viper from South and Central America. Um, very, very uh, cryptic indeed. And very cool snake, but not in the mood for eating tonight. Ah, too much reflection. There we go, look what we got here. One of the Pogo twins. I bet it doesn't take much uh, to get her to uh, strike the glass. Not that I really want to get her too excited because I have to go in there. I bet if I turn on the infrared sensor, she goes a bit wacko. Ooh, infrared. 
Okay, well, <clears throat> I see one pogo stick with venom. Where is the other one hiding? Probably in the back corner, but I need a flashlight. Ah, got something better than a flashlight. We got infrared. Hmm. Now, we also have lots of reflection. Nope, no good. Ah, yes, there's the other dude. These guys are night hunters and it's after dark. Oh, here comes trouble. Ah, ah, no, no. You don't like that, do you? Jeez, talk about excitement. You know, all I, I don't know if it, it got on film, but all I saw was this mouth coming at me from the back of the cage. Okay, let's uh, let them calm down. Uh, I don't want them chewing on one another. No, no, no. Over here, over here, over here. Ooh, you nasty little suckers. Are we hungry? Yes, I bet we are. Those guys are the first animals to be separated. I'm in a new facility. Well, if you want to see real excitement and a chance to get me getting bit, I'll just let the camera run while I unlock this and uh, try to cool their, uh, their fire down with a little bit of water. exciting. Okay guys. Brainstorm. Ah yes that caused an immediate cool down. See one of the things that I've learned uh, uh, from uh, other experts, which I am, don't consider myself an expert, as Neil Bohr's uh, used to say, uh, an expert is someone in a very narrow field who has made all the possible mistakes uh, in that field. And I certainly haven't made all the mistakes yet, so I don't consider myself an expert. Uh, for those of you who don't know Niels Bohr, uh, he was a famous physicist and chemist, um, one of the pioneers in the field, who came and discovered a number of basic physical and chemical principles uh, that uh, all of modern chemistry and physics is uh, based upon. <clears throat> so, look him up. He's, a, you know, one of those early geniuses. Uh, that we rely so much upon <clears throat> and we wouldn't be so technologically advanced if it wasn't for people like Niels Bohr okay Mr. Green is uh, working up to a shed therefore he gets uh, some water. Okay. Moving on. Looks like old Yellowhorns here uh, came uh, over to window to visit. Uh, I'll offer her something to eat here in just a moment. Okay. Mr. Uh, Rat here gets a little bit yeah, it's hard to do this one hand filming. Get some panicure because uh, Yellowhorns is still in the process of being wormed. Uh, let's see if Yellowhorns is interested in Mr. Roden. Oh, 
Ah, that's very nice. There you go. Now just so there's no confusion, uh, sometimes I call animals Mr. or Miss and, you know, sometimes it's interchangeable. Uh, uh, this is Miss Yellowhorns. Uh, she has uh, definitely a gal. She's getting another dose of Panicure today. You don't like me holding it? Well, here. All right, all right. There you go. That's much better. That's much better. Got a few friends in there. It's Miss No Horns. I don't know where her horns went. I think she got them rubbed off in the bag on the way over. And there's Mom. All right, I'm gonna back off because she's not eating. So I'll give her space and let her eat. See, after I backed off. Uh, she immediately started uh, eating the rodent. They're still quite wary of me. Ooh, sorry about that abrupt zoom there. These are some unusual uh, rhinos because of their green cast to them which makes them even blend in more than the uh, the famous uh, the Turu Forest Ugandans these are really cool I've never seen this variety before therefore I have a number of females and a male uh, so I can get some breeding going it is breeding season but I don't know if anyone is uh, in the mood to breed. Wow, that was pretty good. Oh, look at that. Down the hatch. I knew a girl like that once. Oh, there, there's Miss Snowhorns in the back shaking her head. Yeah, I knew. I bet you did know a girl like that once. Her fangs weren't quite as long, though. Sniffs is watching from the adjacent cage. Was that okay, huh? Was that okay? Was that tasty? Uh-oh. Is she going to yawn? Oh, there we go. Not a yawn, but a little bit of placement. I see Miss Tiki. Miss Tiki's going to get another shot of pan cure because she, uh, she has a pretty good case of worms. Was that tasty, huh? Huh? Yeah. You go ahead and work on that. I'll uh, give you another one next week.